Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can quickly and easily texture an object like this without investing too much time into creating seams and creating a custom texture. All we'll use is just a simple texture map and then we'll play around with UVs. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it will really help my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Let's jump right into empty blender file and I'll just select everything here and press X and delete and press shift A and let's start with the plane, now I'll just rotate the scene a little bit, tab in and scale this down like this and press S, then X and scale it so it's wider and press E and extrude. Okay, now I'll press 2 to switch to the edge select, select these two edges at the top, let's press Ctrl B and bevel and now with the mouse wheel I will increase the number of segments and move it so the edges in the middle almost touch and now I'll switch to the vertex select back so press 1 select these vertices press M and choose at center that will merge them and let's do the same with the back ones and now let's rotate from the bottom press 3 for face select select this face press X and delete it and I've deleted that face because now I want to select these faces so hold shift select these two and press I to inset and now if you press B it will enable boundary mode so at the bottom where you don't have any more faces it will just snap to the ground which is what we want so let's do something like this here and now i'll just select only the face in the front and extrude a tiny bit now let's switch to the edge select so press 2 select this edge on the side press shift d right click to release and p and enter to separate into a different object you can see two objects here so tab out select the new one tab in Select all by pressing A and press E then Y to extrude towards the front and now select this edge at the top, press G then Z and move it down. Press A to select all and extrude. Okay, now I'll tab out and add a mirror modifier here, just like that. And now just one part in the middle here. So let's press Shift A, let's add a plane. Tab into the edit mode and S to scale like this and press G then Y to move it towards the front just like that and E to extrude a tiny bit now we can select this edge right here press Ctrl B to bevel and reduce the number of segments with the mouse wheel just like that and now we can duplicate this one with Shift D, P, Enter to separate tab out, select the new object select everything and extrude and we can move this out by pressing G then why so this will be a simple stone throne and now let's tap out let's press shift a and let's add a plane i will scale it up to create some kind of underlying structure and then extrude it down okay and i'll press x and delete that face as well we don't need that one and let's tap out let's press shift a and let's add a plane now let's go here and switch snapping to the vertex snap and press g then z and by holding control we can snap it here at the bottom vertex so it's aligned and now tab in press a to select all and scale it up just like that so we have some background now let's press a to select everything tab in a again and shift n and this is just to make sure we have our normals recalculated now tab out and we can start some texturing so let's go to the shading tab and first we'll create a material so select any object here and let's create a new material and I'll call it stone and now let's zoom out here select the principal shader node and make sure you have a node wrangler add-on activated and I will write down names of all the add-ons I'm using here in the description so if you have trouble understanding what I'm saying you can find the list with the add-ons in the description um, so let's use the node wrangler and press ctrl shift and T and just navigate to your folder where you downloaded the textures and you can find a link to the texture in the description as well and while downloading the texture make sure you choose the zip format and just check the maps you are interested in and i'm using the diffuse map roughness map and normal map that's everything so let's choose these maps you just select them all 
and click principal texture set and that will create the principal texture setup for you and now let's select these other objects and add the same texture there don't worry about how this looks right now we'll fix it right away and now the playful part begins let's go to the uv editing and instead of like going through every single object and creating seams and creating a nice uv layout that you can then texture in photoshop or i don't know substance painter we'll use these uv maps a little bit more creatively and here in place so let's tab in here and i'll show you what i mean and i'll go for face select by pressing 3 and alt click this loop right here and you can see the texture layout uh, for that loop and i'll just hover here over the model press u and unwrap and this will create this little strip and now if i hold z and go to the material preview i can see what i'm mapping here and now you can just move this around and choose the place you like so i'll go r and 90 to rotate these 90 degrees and scale it up just like this so now we have these nice tiles going on and we can just move it around like this and choose what we like for example if you like some crack here you can place it whatever you want and now if you're satisfied you can just alt click this loop right here and press u and unwrap now this will be a little bit more tricky because this is in the u shape and we need to straighten this out luckily it's really easy to do that first of all we'll need to create one rectangular face um, so you can see this is almost a rectangle but this one is tilted slightly let's choose the vertex snapping here in the uv editor as well press g then x and by holding control we can snap it right here so this should be a perfect rectangle and now let's select everything and this should be active it's highlighted gray if you don't have it active just choose the face selection the selected with shift and select it again and now right click and follow active quads that will straighten it out if you don't like this hassle um there is a great add-on for this um i have it active right here it's called uv squares you can find the name in the description just download it install and instead of doing all of this you can just click to grid by shape and it will straighten it out for you um, without all that snapping and everything and now if you have the strip ready you can just move it around scale it you know and place it however you like so let's find some creative placement here i think it will be beneficial if these aligned a little bit so we can press s then x and make it more narrow and try to match match that texture um, of course it can take a while to match it or to find the perfect placement so i'll probably won't bother with that too much or if you want to be more precise you can alt shift click this loop as well now hover over this one press l to select linked and move it around to find the match and now you can scale it accordingly so that it fits okay i think i like this placement so let's leave it like this for a second and now let's go here and let's unwrap the front face here so press u and choose unwrap and now you can really just scale it down and find something you like i really like that crack there so you can scale it down and make it larger for example i think it'll look really great and now just select the side strip press u and unwrap you can see it's connected down there so what we can do here is to delete this face and select it again press u and unwrap and now we have another strip that we can use so let's rotate this and choose something interesting maybe we can scale this one down a tiny bit and choose something like this or you can find that crack here and just make sure it continues like this here okay so and you can continue in this manner you can choose whatever the placement you like um, for example here maybe just the cube projection would be fine so press u and cube projection and then you can just move these separate pieces around so let's select this face right here and you can move it around to better match and now we can select all of the islands and maybe scale it down a little bit so it's kind of more smooth just like that and let's do the same here so i'll press u and q projection scale it down and maybe move around a tiny bit 
and here we can do the same. Okay, now let's select this one here and here I'll just select these edges around, press U, mark seam, A and U unwrap. Let's move things around a little bit and yeah, there you have it. A quick texturing for a drone, um, it's really custom, it's creative and you are doing it right in Blender so you don't need to export the UV layout and bring this to another software and stuff like that so I think it's really beneficial. Now let's finish with the scene a little bit so I'll switch to the layout view here and let's make this smooth so let's select this part right here, right click shade smooth and I'll go ahead and add bevel modifier here, add two segments and reduce the amount a tiny bit like this. And now I can select the rest and now just shift click this one here and copy to select it. And let's make them smooth as well. And if you don't like the shading here, you can go and set up some hardened normals in the build modifier. So alt click here. So this will distribute to every modifier and then go to the object data properties normal and alt click the checkbox to shade smooth and alt drag this angle here. So now let's switch to the material preview and let's go to the settings and we'll enable some of these EV settings for the preview purposes, but I'm interested in cycles. Let's choose GPU and I'll enable some denoising and adjust the tile size here and let's preview this. Okay, it's a little bit dark of course. First of all, I'll create the background material here. something dark and let's press shift a and let's add some light and i think spotlight would look right here so let's bring this up create a spotlight like this and let's try something like 2500 i think this will look great and maybe let's give this a slightly greenish tone to make it a little bit more sinister okay and let's find some angle something like this and i'll press shift a and add a camera and now press Control alt 0 to place the camera here, move it around and let's choose different resolution, something like this and let's select the background RZ to rotate this a little bit so it's aligned with our camera view. Now tab in, select this edge right there, press E then Z to extrude. Now select this edge once again, Control B to bevel so we have infinite background there right click and shade smooth and we can additionally rotate this okay and this is quite large so we can move it maybe a little bit closer like this and now let's press shift a and i'll add another light this time area light press g then z move it up and let's bring this closer to the background somewhere in between and press r twice to rotate it a little bit and let's increase the power to something like 500. Let's look from the camera and move it down a tiny bit. And let's give this a little bit stronger color there. And let's go to the world settings and just give this some maybe purple or violet tone. So it complements nicely with that green light. And the last touch would be to add some volumetrics maybe. So let's add a cube, tab in make it larger and now let's create a new material let's call this fog and i'll remove the principal shader here expand the volume section and add principled volume shader and reduce the density to something like 0 0.025 and finally let's go to the render settings in the color management and let's give this some more contrast and probably some some higher exposure i will probably play with this a little bit more maybe decorate the throne with something that will stand out we'll see about that but the purpose of this tutorial was to show you how quickly you can use the uv unwrapping tools and how to unwrap different islands different parts of the mesh without using seams and how to do it directly in blender and how to match it with the underlying texture so you can have one texture for multiple models and this is a technique that's used frequently in the game design uh, with the trim sheets for example so it's really handy when you need to optimize your texture use 
So that's it for today's tutorial, I really hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave that like, it will really help me and again if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.